Life on Earth is a remarkable phenomenon, unparalleled in its uniqueness within the vastness of the universe. So far, only here do we find the intricate balance of conditions necessary for life. Liquid water, a stable environment, a hospitable climate. From microscopic bacteria to complex organisms, indeed, life on Earth defies the odds, underscoring its extraordinary rarity in the cosmic expanse. And of course, there's Ragbri. I have wanted to do Ragbri for so many years. It's never worked out. All the stars align this year, and uh, and I'm going to get a chance to do it. And I'm incredibly pumped about it. So, I drove out here over the last several days from Delaware, um, about 900 miles. I separated it. I stopped and saw some friends. Um, hey, I saw my riding buddy Carl. A couple of you asked about Carl. Am I ever going to ride with Carl again? I am going to ride with Carl. In fact, we're going to do some riding next month. So, stay tuned for that one. The other thrilling thing I got to see was the Gemini Giant outside of Wilmington, Illinois, just a little bit southwest of Joliet. Uh, for those of you that have followed any of my other videos, I have a fascination with muffler men. This is an original muffler man that, um, yeah, well, you know, awesome. So I got in late last night. Uh, today was about the check-in process and then loading up all of our bikes on U-Haul, on a U-Haul to get taken to the starting line in Sioux City. And then early tomorrow morning, everybody is, or at least everybody that's taking the shuttle service to the start line, we're all getting on buses and, and taken off tomorrow morning for, um, for the start of the ride on Sunday. So um, we got seven days to talk about facts and figures on Ragbri. So I'm not going to get into a whole bunch, except to say it is a 500 mile ride over seven days. So again, if you've watched any of my other videos, that's more mileage than I'm used to doing. <laughs> so this is definitely going to be an adventure. I talked to someone today who was talking about their training process for this. And I immediately kind of, my blood ran cold because I did not do any training for this at all. So, um, <laughs> we'll see. Along those lines, I'm going to get to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, good morning. It is, uh, Beautiful Saturday morning here. It's very early. So <laughs> the logistics this morning is I drove to the uh, pickup spot where we're gonna get on the bus and I dropped off my bag, which at some point I gotta show you. This is the equivalent of four paneers in one bag. <laughs> um, Fortunately, they're going to transport it during the week, so that's that's nice. Anyway, I dropped it off, and then I drove that way about a mile to go park at um, in a parking lot that was assigned to me, and then walked back. You know, I've always been fascinated by logistics. How do you move thousands and thousands of people around? Tens of thousands of people around. <laughs> Buses are gonna load up and we're gonna make our way across the state. Pretty exciting. All right, a little bit of pandemonium here. Here's all the bikes. <laughs> I gotta find mine.
This is another tent city. Look at this. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> At times, it's hard to explain what Ragbri really is. I mean, sure, it's a truly unique bicycle event, but it's also a sort of mobile state fair, a collection of small town parties, a food festival, a concert series with headliners like Foghat, Leonard Skinner, and Bush, just to name a few. Ragbri even has its own beer for the occasion. Suffice to say, there's a lot going on during the week. Hey everybody, I'm about ready to call it a night. It feels like a long day. We didn't really do very much except ride a bus out across the state. Um, but one of the things that's really hard to, to convey through video is just the sheer volume of riders that do this uh, activity. So, you know, a typical ride that I've done in Delaware is three, four hundred people. That's a good size ride. And you know, when you have three, 400 people on the road, it's, um, you, you feel it, things get congested and you know. But, okay, they're estimating that every single day there's going to be at least 30,000 riders. 30,000. So, you know, just tonight riding to the expo um, and, and having hundreds of riders on the road and like, I just can't imagine what this is going to be like tomorrow. They're thinking that Wednesday, uh, there's some mixed reports. I heard they were going to try to break the Guinness uh, Book of World Record for um, uh, number of riders. And, and they're estimating they might have as many as 100,000 riders on Wednesday. Again, I just can't get my head wrapped around it. You know, we pulled into this park and, and set up tents and... Um, by the way, my face is really red right now, and it's because it is hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Um, it's supposed to be blazing hot this whole week. Uh, that's a whole other story. But anyway, we pulled in this campground, and, you know, it's just wall-to-wall -wall tents. There's just people everywhere. And then I got on the bike, and I started riding, and there's all these other camps with lots and lots of people. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try my best to kind of maybe try to capture a little bit more of that of just what it feels like to be in the midst of so many people it's like a mass migration there were just you know hundreds of coaches today pulling into Sioux City and and uh, yeah there's just lots of people so you know anyway that's my takeaway for today <laughs> um, again it's hot I'm going to try to sleep tonight. I, I'm not even going to pull out a sleeping bag because it's not even worth it. Yeah, and I met a guy who uh, subscribes to the channel. Also just a very nice guy. I'm going to try to ride with him tomorrow, and we're going to take off as early as we can. I think part of it is to beat the heat, and part of it is to beat the big crowds. See if we can't get out early enough that maybe those that are going to start at 9 or 10, maybe we can get ahead of them. So... All right, well, sleep well. See you in the morning.
First chance to stop, take my hands off the handlebars because it's been incredibly busy and uh, lots and lots of people. So just stopped and had some waffles and sausage. And I'm riding with my buddy, Tim, <laughs> who uh, ran into yesterday or two days ago. We're gonna ride together today, try to keep one another out of trouble and on the course. Second stop of the day in uh, Washta. I had the best peach pie. Oh, I can't say that. My aunt would kill me. Second best peach pie I've ever had. Very good. Uh, it's pretty crazy. It's just so many people. You, I don't know if you're seeing people are. They have to walk through the town. You can't ride.
to do it. Pork chop. Awesome. At a certain point, I just need to declare that I am being energized by rhubarb pie. So Tim, let's capture this. Let's capture this for YouTube. Your favorite pie so far has been? Rhubarb. Rhubarb. stopped for breakfast burritos I don't know about you Tim I was so hungry I didn't even think of taking a picture it was gone before it was great <laughs> I think I'm missing a couple fingers <laughs> <laughs> Tim's missing a couple fingers I actually ate some of the paper that was it was wrapped up in so <laughs> the heat is starting to pick up and we are 32 miles into I think it's an 85 mile day. And today is the day where there is an option to do a century. So I don't know if that's in the works or not. We'll see. I'm feeling hopeful.
peach pie with ice cream. 37 more miles to go. That's going to have to be the fuel. And I still haven't decided if I'm going to do the additional 15. Just so I can brag and say I did 100 a day. video of stop so this is a, this is a typical kind of stop so there you can see all the chaos that ensues with getting on and off the road that one had mr. pork chop I stopped yesterday for that best pork chop I ever had Yeah, we're <laughs> that's where all the hundred milers go. I am not a hundred miler today. <laughs> it's too damn hot. Oh, oh my gosh, she got me right in the, she got me right in the chest. <laughs> oh my gosh, did I need that? We're down to about five miles. The heat is brutal. People are dropping like flies. <laughs> we're gonna make it though. I feel pretty confident we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it, Tim. Tim thinks we're, Tim thinks we're gonna make it too. Turbo Tim is kicking it into, well, turbo. We're on a slight decline, not huge. But we can feel the finish line. This has been a brutal day. Welcome to Ames. I don't know what that sign looks like on camera. It's probably blinking like crazy. Ames! All right! Here's a hell of a finish. Thumbs up, Iowa State. That was very cool. If I had three thumbs, I'd, I'd give you three. That was awesome.
Good morning. I'm gonna get the Ames Fitness Center in the background. Great place to stay last night. Sleeping in air conditioning, pretty awesome. So today's gonna feel like <laughs> relatively a piece of cake. It's gonna be like 50, 52 miles, somewhere around there. Yesterday's estimates were all over the map. Um, I had 86 on my uh, odometer, but I don't know. Other people were saying it was more. It was a brutal day, and we've got two more 80-mile days. And yesterday was relatively flat, so um, I guess we'll see. But today, you know, we can see the weather, a little cloudy. So maybe it'll be a little bit cooler. It's hot. It's really brutal. <laughs> That's why we're trying to leave earlier and earlier in the morning. It's uh, it's 5.50 right now, so we're hoping to kind of get a little bit of an earlier start, but... The heat is brutal. Let's play two truths and a lie. My name is Brian. I'm currently about four miles away from Des Moines. And finally, it is refreshingly cool out today. Just got to our campground for the night. We were supposed to be under some trees, and instead they put us out in the middle of an open field. It's 
90 plus today. There's no water to be found anywhere. There's no running water. So I am in search of some drink somewhere, which means I gotta get back on the bike. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is hot. I don't know exactly how hot it is. I'll look it up and I'll put the temperature right there. Yes. incredibly peaceful this morning <laughs> it's kind of funny you'll be up on a hill and it's warm and then you go down a little valley and it's 15 degrees cooler I've wanted to stop at this place every time the line is like 100 people deep. Look at this. So I got this peach ice cream at, I don't know, 9 o'clock in the morning. It's homemade. Look at this. Never underestimate. <laughs> Let me start that again. Let me. <laughs> Never underestimate the healing powers of homemade peach ice cream. 37 miles to go, and it's definitely heating up. All right, compare this to yesterday through towns that's the benefit of leaving at 4 15. <laughs> morning. morning the jewel of the prairie grinnell This is 
is the, I think this is the most difficult physical activity I've ever done. For my running friends, this is harder than any marathon I've ever done. <laughs> I'm not kidding. There's eight more miles to go. And it's blazing hot. Gatorade. I cracked it open and it's frozen solid. <laughs> that's that's torture. <laughs> I don't even want to look at the temperature right now because I know it's gonna freak me out so I'm just like living in denial. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm not talking about it. I'm trying not to even think about it. Wait a minute, I'm thinking about it. Ah! Alright, my watch just clicked over 91 miles. So I don't know who was smoking what when they said 82. You know, if you think 9 miles extra is not a lot. Uh... It is when it feels like it's over 100 degrees. I would say the last 20 miles has been a Gatorade drip. I might as well just put an IV in my arm. Gotta find my group. Yeah, so I'm traveling with Ace. Ace is in charge of getting the bags from location to location. It's a little orange sign. And I haven't seen it yet. One of the things that's a little irritating is that uh, some of the more established charters, whatever you want to call them, they seem to get the shaded areas. Yesterday, we were dumped into the middle of a field. There it is, see it off to the left, see the little orange ace arrow? That's me. Anyway, they dumped us in the middle of a field. No shade. I'm hoping they improve upon that today. I'm not going to hold out for that, but I hope. with you <laughs> oh my gosh what a trip <laughs> they're killing it oh I hope that doesn't come back to bite me later
just passed halfway, and uh, that was the little town of Marengo. Had the freshest piece of watermelon ever. <laughs> oh. All right, well, the sun's up. Good thing is it's, it's about 80, which is better than 100. Actually, I think it's higher than 80, but I'm living delusionally. Delusionally? I'm living with delusion. You can always see Mr. Pork Chop for miles out. <laughs> oh, you can also smell it. cream but I gotta keep going oh, but I want ice cream I really want some ice cream but I gotta keep going Okay, look, when you come to a fork in the road in life, and in one of those forks is homemade ice cream, you don't have a fork in the road, okay? All right, I just hit 60 miles, and you know what that means? <laughs> that means I'm gonna make it. Now, those of you that know, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. I only got 20 miles to go. Well, who knows? Yesterday was supposed to be 82 miles, turned out to be 94. So, I don't know. Today it was supposed to be 82, I think? Or 80? Maybe it was 80. I don't know what's gonna point out, but I'm gonna make it. some more. Let's get some more. you should never take for granted in life. Pink lemonade, peach ice cream, lemon lime Gatorade. Any others? Rollers are killer. 
I've run out of four letter words. True confession. Thing about the mile adjustments on these legs is they do it from like an official start to an official end but that doesn't include the additional mileage to get to your camp or from the camp for that matter I'm complaining I'm seriously grumpy right now So in addition to all the heat, we've got some sort of cell moving in here and we all have to take cover in the school. Okay, so last night was exciting. <laughs> I've never seen a storm develop that quickly and with that kind of veracity. 
it was it was it's pretty amazing I uh, I was filming a gust of wind popped up um, and I shut it off and, and I ran <laughs> and uh, looked over my shoulder and I saw like 10 tents just floating up in the air might have been the same tents that were in the dumpster this morning when I went to throw away my garbage uh, yeah quite a storm I've never seen my tent uh, billow that way inside just rocking from side to side it was incredible and then just like that it was gone and I slept like a baby There are certain highlights to rides. Was it the free watermelon? No, it was pretty good though. <laughs> here is what my highlight was, right here. Boom. <laughs> that was awesome. in your water bottle wow wow you know let it let it hit some bumps get all mixed up homemade ice cream and some root beer wow man I got about an hour to go and that's gonna get me there This is Buffalo. I believe this is the last town. Morning. All right, you get the uh, most unflattering camera angle imaginable. <laughs> yeah, I got about eight miles to go and I, I really wanted it before I forgot. I really wanted to say thank you specifically you know, I think in a previous video, I said I was going to be at Ragbri, and I said, look, if we cross paths, something like this, please come over and say hi. Man, I lost count. I think about a dozen people did so. And it was a hoot. It's a hoot, I tell you. It's not an ego thing. Don't take it that way. It's nice to know that there's they're real people watching these videos. It's my favorite thing, I've told you. I like to meet people. Uh, this was a great event for that. And uh, again, I just appreciate those that came and said hi. It meant a lot. So thank you for that. I haven't really thought what I'm going to do with this 
footage I've taken this week. For sure I'm gonna do a, a whole ride along video of like the whole thing. It'll be about 14 hours long. And you know, it will be about 100 gigabytes to upload to YouTube. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do another video on just what this event is really about. Because honestly, I watched a lot in preparation and I still didn't get it. The, the event, I mean, what it's really, what it's really like. It is not just a, a bike ride. That's just part of it. It really is, that's just a part of it. So I think I'm gonna do a video on that. All right, there's no more root beer floats. There's no more pigs to cuddle. It's about seven more miles in a fairly decent little headwind here, but I am not complaining. I left again early because they were warning of brutal heat. And as you can see, it is really overcast and uh, you know, it's kind of a warm wind, but it's certainly not that brutal, brutal heat we had the last two days. All right, let's get to it. Sight to see. <laughs> this is what happens when you get here a lot earlier. <laughs> I bet you this is going to be absolutely pandemonium later this afternoon. <laughs> Uh, I wish there was a way I could edit in some crowds or something. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go dip my tire in the Mississippi. And so, as this story comes to a close, we end as we began, embracing the rarity of life and its wonder among the stars. And while you may have telekinesis, advanced technologies, and smooth bluish skin, you can b**k yourself, alien, because we have Ragbri right here on Earth. E.T. got it, and we loved him for it. But you didn't and neither did you. The bicycle, a product of human ingenuity, yes, but far more an expression of some of our best qualities. The warmth of social connection, the pursuit of physical achievement, the love of natural beauty, the triumph over vast distances, overcoming the obstacles of exploration, heat, storms, all the while finding joy in the journey. So, until next time... <laughs>